Hi Leo, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day today. I am here to give you your general energy reading. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a personal session with me, if you would like to donate to my channel, purchase any of my artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. I do want to give a special shout out to Monera Leo Gang. Also to Danielle. Thank you guys so much for your generous donations. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, Leo. So let's go ahead and tap right in. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, most high. Please protect me and my collective as I channel messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 20 million fold, and anyone out there showing me love. Much love and light to you. Also guys, show some love, thumbs up the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified for your future readings and your future live videos. So some of you guys are connecting with a Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag. These could also be aspects in your chart. I do see that somebody has you confused. I feel like you may be stuck in a robotic pattern with an individual and you're starting to lose passion. You're starting to lose interest. I feel like you may feel like this individual is blocking your creativity or blocking your blessings or just, you know, keeping you in a mentally drained space to where it's kind of like you're unable to focus on your regular day to day dealing with this person. I feel like this is an individual that mis misjudged you, Leo, with the judgment reverse here. I feel like this person, you know, they failed to learn from their karmic lessons, you know, and it's like this person tried to get you entangled in this cycle of not changing, not growing, you know. This person, I feel, did not express their, their true thoughts, their true feelings. And I feel like they misjudged the situation with you. They may have thought that they could just, you know, come back whenever they please or pick up where you guys left off. But I see you're just no longer interested. You could be in the public eye, Six of Wands energy, or you may just get a lot of attention. I do see that you are being recognized for a, a lot of success. You know, this is a situation where I feel like you had a vision. You may have shared your vision with this individual or even other people around you. Nobody's seen you. But I see you being victorious, standing tall. A lot of people underestimated you, Leo. I feel like there's a lot of people that want you to be mentally stuck. You know, they want to make you feel like you're not capable of accomplishing things or capable of standing in your power. I feel strongly that there are a lot of individuals around you that make you, you know, they want to make you doubt yourself. And I feel like it's because they lack belief in their self. This could be family, friends, just people that I see you slowly withdrawing from. 
You are in your power, Leo. And a lot of people will know your name for something positive, for something uplifting, for something honorable. Somebody's stuck in their head about you. They're worried. Uh, this person is very stressed. I feel like you left this individual behind you because they resisted change. You felt like this person just wouldn't compromise by any means necessary. So I see a lot of you guys pulling back from sexual energy with this person because you're feeling like they're not truly concerned with you or they may have put you in a category where you don't belong. Maybe a friends with benefits category. Maybe a category of someone where they can just come and go as they please, right? But I see you being a person of honor, someone that's well respected, you know, somebody who is a warrior. Somebody's worried about you having this happy family with someone else, the Ten of Cups. They're worried because you're no longer showing them any interest or passion. You're definitely no longer sleeping with this person. Could be a uh, King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I feel like this person was focused on material wealth. You know, focused on their image, how people view them. For a lot of you guys, they even had another situation. This person can have two kids and maybe had just been attached to this family situation. And that's where you guys lost passion, I see. Because I don't see that they communicated this with you truthfully. I do see you getting emotional fulfillment and also being very financially stable. I feel like a lot of people didn't believe in you. They didn't believe that you could do this. You know, I feel like you're always there for everybody else, but when it's your turn to get that love, that support, that respect, you feel like people overlook you or try to make you doubt yourself. As if you're not worthy. But if anybody is worthy, the Leo is worthy. You're very determined. You're re resilient. You're a hard worker. Your heart is huge. You support all of the, those people that you love. You know, people come to you for advice. When they need things. When they need real love. You see? And I see this person really honestly... Looking at you as wish fulfillment when it comes to love. Wanting to build a stable foundation with you. Maybe even have children. I do see them having very extremely strong feelings for you. Ace of Swords, that is the truth. This person could be paying you attention as well. Especially if you're posting online or if you have a public platform. This person could be definitely watching you. I feel like if you do have a public platform, Leo, that this person may have gotten to know you better on your public platform than they did in person. And I feel like it was because they only allowed you to become so close because of the situations that they had dealing with outside of you. Situations that they gave you a lack of clarity on. See, they thought it would be easy to manipulate you. You seem like a nice person. You know, you're very loving. I feel like they got a little piece of the love that you show. And they were hopeful that they would be able to just string you along. But I see you being very highly intuitive, extremely protected. And this is why this person is suffering from karma right now. They cannot rest. 
you know, they are sleepless. You see? And it's all because of ego. This person sabotaged a connection with you. A connection that made them happy with the sun card. Spirit, tell me why this person sabotaged this connection with Leo. Why did this person sabotage this connection with Leo? So, what I definitely feel like is that some of you guys are in a public eye for something. And some of you guys, I'm strongly feeling like, are spiritual teachers. You know, you may even get into tarot for some of you guys. Whatever it is that you're doing, um, whatever it is in your work or your entrepreneurship that is bringing you all of this attention, this person is not comfortable with that. It could be what it is that you're representing. It could be... You know, how you're getting attention, how you're dressing, you know, what you're talking about. I don't know. But there's something that they don't like about it or it makes them feel uncomfortable. If you are a spiritual teacher, um, this person may come from a very traditional background where they go to church and where they, you know, and it's like you could have a whole different way of life. I feel like this makes this person feel uncomfortable. They do not enjoy the type of attention that you receive. Even though it's something where you're living in your truth. A lot of you guys are truth speakers. See, you are meant to be in the spotlight. You have the six of wands in the sun card upright. Yeah. And you have the ace of swords. A lot of you guys are truth speakers. It is meant, it is your birthright. You know, and at some point in this connection, you may have felt like this person was kind of pulling you out of your regular character, which I don't think you liked. And so I think a lot of you guys honestly just really had to let the stress go. You know, this person is not giving you what you want and I feel like a lot of you guys gave this person clarity on what it is that you needed in this connection I don't feel like you left this person in the dark at all but I do feel like it really hurts because you you care about this person I see spirit are there any blockages for my Leos? Are there any blockages on the path for my Leos? Secrets or Cancer Pisces. There could be a Cancer or a Pisces trying to block something on your path. This person is very stressed out. You may have last seen this person or heard from this person when you were 32. Or the, the age 32 is sufficient. This person is trying to block your path. Why, spirit? Why is this person trying to block the path? See, at some point, this is an individual that played a lot of mind games with you. I do not feel like it is the same individual that I was just speaking of. I feel like this is someone from your past prior to this individual. But I do feel like this person played a lot of mind games. They gave you illusions. And I see you being in your power and your truth. Somebody absolutely does not like that. There's a lot of things being exposed um, on this journey. But what they hate the most is that they can no longer trouble you with any type of illusions. 
What are their next plans for my Leos? What are their next steps towards my Leos? They want to make you feel trapped, Leo. Because you're very beautiful, August 6th. July 25th, August 3rd. <clears throat> Somebody wants to cut your journey short. So if you are a true speaker, whatever it is that you're doing, because I feel like a lot of you guys are doing something to change the world. Somebody wants to cut that short. They want you to feel trapped. They want to try to expose some type of secret or something. I don't know, but this person has intentions. To make you feel trapped. There's a lot of money in your future, Leo. A lot of financial stability. A lot of hard work. But a lot of money. Somebody is very uncomfortable with you having that. You see what I'm saying? And it's something you work for. I got the mastery card here. It's something you're creating. You did this. Like... This is your gifts, you see? You're very devoted. You've put a lot of time. Angel number 444, highly protected, Leo. You don't want to go through the same ancestral patterns. You've had a revelation. And I see you breaking patterns. There's something very creative. 8-6. That is my birthday as well. Eight, six is here. Yeah. And that is the truth. July 30th. August 8th. July 28th. August 12th. You have the strength, the power to change your whole bloodline, Leo. Okay, somebody sees this and I'm hoping that you see this as well, but there's somebody that sees this here. They see how devoted you are. They see that they can no longer take you through the same patterns. They see that you are the truth. You see, and this person wants to come and try to break down a foundation that you're currently building. See, you're continuously growing and growing every day. You're not done on your journey. There's so many different things that you're going to do. So many more experiences that you'll have, Leo. And there's somebody from your past, Cancer Pisces energy. They are jealous. They do not want you to be this star. You shine so bright. You know, they've chose all these other options. You see what I'm saying? But they always come back to this star. Right? Like, because the biggest star is the sun. Leo energy. You are happiness. You are wish fulfillment. For a lot of you guys, this was like family to you at some point. That's how you love. You treated this person like family. You see what I'm saying? And they want to come and try to break something down. But the power goes to the most high. And karma shall be served on an ice cold platter. For sure. Third chakra, solar plexus, inner harmony. I trust my innate wisdom and I respond accordingly. I do not allow my mind to create doubt or to override my strong gut feelings. I, ex I accept and express my feelings while accepting the feelings of others. 
I am at peace with myself and those around me and I do not harbor unrealistic expectations of myself or of others. I release the need to control others. My personal power is free from ego and from any desire to manipulate or exploit situations or people. The foundation of my thoughts and actions is to trust in myself. See, you embody this inner harmony, Leo, to where it's so powerful. It, it don't matter what type of spell work this person throws at you. It don't matter how much they speak negatively on your name. It don't matter how much they focus on trying to tear down a foundation for you. Still, I rise every day without a doubt you feel me and that's how you step in leo that's how you step in see you got the dark moon i'm sure it's moon magic spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you so make sure you guys are meditating there are some things you will feel this person's energy and you'll notice there's little things that's happening but just know that you have the power i return senders 20 million fold for my family for you for me right stand in your power leo i love you guys those are the messages that I got for you today. If you enjoyed the reading, if it resonates with your story, show me some love, thumbs up the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.